Um, hi everyone, my name is Manu. I'm from the Space Generation Advisory Council. And uh, I thought we would just quickly speak to you about what SGAC does, and then I'm also going to leave it up to Jan. Scholarships and competitions, and also our upcoming Congress in Jerusalem. So I think most of you You've been to our conferences before, so um, please feel free to ask them. They're very knowledgeable. Um, so what does SGAC actually do? So we came through a recommendation from Unispace 3 in 1999 that pretty much looked around the space industry and saw that the medium age of the space sector was around about 50 years old. And that's not really representative of what the space generation is. So um, SGAC was then initiated, so we represent students and young professionals below the age of 35 in the space sector. So we run two main conferences, uh, the first being the Space Generation Congress uh, in association with the International Astronautical Congress, and that travels around the world. We also have our US conference, the Space Generation Fusion Forum, which is in association with the Space Symposium in um, Colorado Springs. So the first brings about, um, or the IAC, I should say, brings about 4,000 people from across the industry, similar with the Space Symposium. So it's a really neat place to, to network and, and get to know what the industry is really doing. SGAC also has year-round projects, and I won't go into too much detail, so, but everything from exploration to commercial space, space law and policy. So really, if you're interested in getting involved, please come and see me afterwards, and I can tell you um, where to go and, and who to speak to. So as I said before, SJC is in support of the United Nations. So all of the conferences that we run, all of those recommendations are then fed back into UN Copius. So uh, we put through policy and technical recommendations, all which are representative of the next generation. As I said before, we do run competitions, scholarships and internships as well. And Phil will be talking about that a little bit later. And in addition to our um, two main conferences, we also do associated events. So I just got back from Washington, D.C., where we held a free networking event as part of Satellite 2015. And it was such a great way just to get about 60 people in a room with six different mentors from all different sectors of the satellite industry. So everything from academia to commercial to industry. It was really great. So what SGAC really does is provides a platform for you to shake hands with industry leaders, you know, people who are um, giving out jobs and internships, and really start that connection. So um, I just want to tell you a little bit about what we did last year. So, so we offered more than 75 scholarships and awards through our different programs. We ran uh, nine different conferences from around the world. Uh, we are a very global organization, so we have about 4,000 volunteer members from all across the world. So we're really trying to build up our global partnership base, and we added 17 new partners last year, all of which are growing. We had 20 presentations and papers at these conferences, and over 40 presentations from all around the world. So I would definitely recommend that you be part of SGAC. Um, like I said, there's very knowledgeable people in the audience, so feel free to reach out to them or myself. Um, register yourself on the SGAC website. It's a free membership, um, and you have access to all of our scholarships and competitions. There's a talk list email as well, so um, if there's any job uh, openings in the industry, you can find out through that. Um, and just, I would say, take initiative. Um, Christian, uh, Sebastian, Christian, I'm sorry. Um, Sebastian is the national point of contact for Germany, so see what's going around in Germany for SJC. And with that, I will hand over to Jan, who will tell you a bit about the Space Generation Congress. So, uh I should introduce the Space Generation Congress. Minu mentioned all these conferences we are organizing every year. 
And the Space Generation Congress is the biggest one of those. So it's an affiliated event to the uh, IAC, organized by IAF. And this year, uh, IAC is in uh, Jerusalem, Israel, in the uh, second half of October. And we will have the uh, Space Generation Congress uh, three days before that. So starting on uh, Thursday and running through Saturday. Uh, we are expecting around 100 delegates, so there is a lot of space for people to participate. And uh, as Minu mentioned, uh, we will have a couple of scholarship and competition. Philip is going to talk about the competitions a bit more after me and show you how to uh, get to uh, Jerusalem. And uh, I'll tell you a little bit more about the Congress. So Congress is three days, as I mentioned. We have five working groups uh, focusing on different topics like exploration, space policy, uh, satellite communication, navigation, etc. And we have also a lot of social events. This year we will organize uh, tours around Jerusalem and also maybe to Dead Sea. So it, there will be a lot of extra program apart from the work during the day. And uh, yeah, I'll ask Philip to come on the stage and tell you how to get to Jerusalem. Thanks, Jan. So as Jan said, the Space Generation Congress is as the space up a very great opportunity to share your ideas among other young people, whereas the International Astronautical Congress, which is right after the Space Generation Congress, is a congress of about between three and 4,000 professionals each year, and it's a prime opportunity to also present ideas to uh, more experienced people or to uh, decision makers within the space uh, business and the space world. So, if you have a great idea that you would like to get to other young people or to um, other professionals in the space sector, how do you get it there? Those congresses? How do you get to those congresses? We would like to invite you there. Every year, the Space Generation Advisory Council gives out a couple of scholarships and competitions covering accommodation to the congresses, uh, flights to Israel, um, and the participation in those congresses. And provides you with a slot, with a presentation slot, at both congresses to present your ideas. This year we will certainly have two um, competitions and one scholarship, which I will just very briefly introduce. The first one is Space Solar Power, which addresses the idea of harvesting um, solar energy in space and then making it available for use on Earth. So if you have an idea, of how such a concept could be implemented, of technologies that would greatly foster the collection of energy or the beaming down of uh, energy. Write it down in a paper of eight to 10 pages, submit it to us by the 31st of May, and you have a chance to um, present that paper and win the competition to present it at IAC. If you're more interested in business, and economy, we also have a competition that is called a Spaces Business Competition, which basically encompasses everything that has to do with entrepreneurship and investment in space. So whether it is an analysis of the disruptive potential of micro-launchers, or even a historic analysis of some existing um, space market, we also invite you, it's also a technical paper competition, write it down in a paper of eight to 10 pa pages, submit it also until the 31st of May, and get your chance to go to IEC. If you're more oriented towards humanities, maybe, we will this year for the first time have the Space for Peace competition, uh, scholarship, which invites you to submit us an essay about what you have done related to um, supporting or using P, uh, space to support uh, peace or space for um, uh, peaceful uses, so whether you have uh, worked with the UN for the peaceful use of outer space or whether you have um, worked on a project using information gathered in space to support humanitarian situations and crises, for example, this would be the, the scholarship for you. It will be announced very soon. So. Um, this is the winner of the uh, 2013 of the 2013 competition, um, and could be you 
next year or this year. Thank you very much.